and fish the pigs out of the living room all at the same time. <laughs> We uh, we didn't have any puppies to give the kids, so we gave them piglets. <laughs> Gentlemen, sorry to keep you waiting. I've been doing my paperwork upstairs. There are less distractions up there. Sit down, sit down. Thank you. Well, Adam tells me there's some sort of trouble. There sure is, Ben. I got word Tom Mahon's gathering his riders. He says you've had time enough to make up your mind. He won't wait any longer. Well, what's Tom Mahon going to do? Use guns to get the children? I don't know, but I think we ought to be prepared. Well, if Tom Mahon thinks he's going to shoot his way into the Ponderosa... Gentlemen, there's not going to be any shooting. That's no solution. Well, of course you're right, Reverend. That's no solution to... It's up to you, Mr. Cartwright. You've got to make up your mind about the children. Well, I need more time, though. I, I... I'm afraid time has run out on you. In just a few days, it'll be Easter Sunday. Let us tell the Mayans and the Clarks you'll announce a decision then. That's only a few days away, I... Mr. Cartwright. You must make a decision now, for the children's sake. All right. Next Sunday, then, Easter. Fine. We'll tell both families. At least that way, it'll delay any gunplay until then. I wish I could help. I wish you could help too, Reverend. It's a lonely job. Why am I having trouble? Are you having trouble? <laughs> Exchange the shoes or exchange the feet, whichever is the easier. The right one goes on the right foot. Oh, oh that's the way you gave it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on up, Kenny. You take it easy and we'll get them off. You're in charge of Kenny here. Now get him into the buckboard as soon as you can. Oh, my goodness, you look pretty. Oh, here we go. We better get him out there. Let me dress him all the way. We don't want to be late. Come on. Yeah. Come over here. You're going to need a rope. Now, may I escort you to the wagon? text this morning, I shall use portions from the Sermon on the Mount. They are words by which all of us can live. The most beautiful of all, I think, are these. 
Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good unto them that hate you. And then, Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye will be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. It's right around her in the back. Can you find it? Yep. You need any help? No. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Amen. Blessed are the children, for they shall be called the peacemakers. Before we sing our final hymn, I should like to announce that Ben Cartwright has selected today, Easter Sunday, as a day for the custody hearing here at the church at 2 o'clock. The care and custody of Kenny and Susan Clark will be granted to the family who can best prove its fitness for the task of caring for these children. We shall now sing hymn number 137. you now. Yes, sir. Thank you for your help, Reverend. And for this, I, I guess it is up to me, but I don't feel quite so alone now. many days with this problem, which concerns all of you, and I hope we can find a fair solution this afternoon. Uh, Mr. Clark and Mary, I ask you now, what can you offer these children should they be awarded to you? John, stand up. We have plenty to offer. You can tell them all about it. Doesn't seem quite right to me, Mary. Just to stand John, up here. I don't care if it's right or not. I want those children. Well, I tell you one thing I can offer these children. I can offer them a home. You all know I'm a well-to-do man. Not rich, but I've got enough money to give these children all the things they want. Just like my own children. Each one of them can have a horse to ride, and good food to eat, and warm clothes to wear. That's what Mary and I can offer these children. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, John, I, I don't think he quite understood the meaning of my words. I, I did not mean, what can you offer in the way of uh, money or clothes or those are material things. Now this morning, you all heard the Reverend Jordan read to you from the Sermon on the Mount. You all bowed your heads. I heard you all answer, Amen, to those golden thoughts. So now I ask you, John Clark, and you, Mary Clark, will you love your enemies? If so, John, I ask you now to step across to Tom Mann here and offer your hand in friendship. You've got no right to ask that, Ben Cartwright. Tom and Mary and I forgive the millions. How can I offer my hand to a family that reviles me? I won't do it. All right, John. Very well. It seems to me, then, that you have very little to offer. All right, folks. Folks! Let's not have any disturbance in here. Come. Come, man. What do you and Winifred have to say? Tom, we have plenty to say. Just a minute. Don't let me get up and Winifred. say Winifred. Ben, I think you know we're not rich. But we can match John Clark dollar for dollar. We'll do all the things for these youngsters we did for our own. For the one the Clarks drove away from us. And they did drive her away. You know that my daughter would still be alive. Winifred, please, that is not the issue. We're here to decide which of you two families will have the custody of these children. And so I ask you, just as I asked John Clark, if you can provide for Kenneth and Sue the comfort and protection of a home where love of God is not just something that you hear about in church, but practice every day of your lives. Now, if you can, will you, Winifred, and you, Tom, Step across to John and Mary and offer them the friendship of your hand. Ben, you're forgetting I once had a daughter. How can I offer my hand to the people who drove her away from me? Oh. First Samuel, second Samuel. O oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house, and it came to pass the third day. And when I rose in the morning, behold, the child was dead. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought the sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two. to make my decision. I have called upon the wisdom of a man, a judge, who is far greater than I am. I have called upon the judgment of Solomon. Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one, and half to the other. These twins, Kenneth and Sue, will be divided in two. Kenneth will be given to the care of John and Mary Clark. Sue to the care of Winifred and Tom Men. Us, we take Kenny too. Mrs. Clark, Joe, take Sue to Mrs. Men. It won't work, Ben. They're not going to stand for it. I don't want to go with you. I want to stand with my You think we were right? Please, please. Wait. Let Kenny and Sue do our work for us. <laughs> don't I 
take me away from my sister? Oh, Kenny, darling, we're going to give you such a nice home. Uh, and I've got just the horse for you. <laughs> with, a, with a new saddle and a new bridle. I don't want a horse. I want my sister. Please don't take me away from Kenny. He needs me. <laughs> I can't. Just I love them and want them. These children have to stay together. Come on. She's yours. They're both yours. Be good to them. When are... Oh, darling. Oh, darling. Take these babies away from Tom and Winifred, who have not. Guess maybe you're right, Mary. Well, let's go over here. Winifred, Tom, you need the children more than we do. John, it's been many years, so I wouldn't be very honest if I offered you my hand right now. But I hope after today it won't be too long. I hope it won't be either, Tom. Listen to the peacemakers. Thank you, Ben. I'm afraid this peacemaker had the help of someone with far greater wisdom than mine. If it weren't for the Reverend here, I... I'm the Reverend Jordan. I believe I'm expected here. Jordan? I'm sorry I was delayed. I hope you received my wire. by Dragnet and Adam 12. That's on the way right here on Me TV. Or call 1-800-699-3803. 1-800-699-3803. Watching memorable entertainment television. MeTV New York.